Yes. So like uh, <clears throat> regarding the ICT and society lesson, the very last one, we talked about the uh, how this uh, ICT equipment or like the ICT is used inside the entertainment sector, right? So we talked about that it is being used in three-dimensional movies, the 3D movies and uh, holographic image processing technologies, as well as cartoon films, which you have already experienced and digital audio materials regarding the editing and uh, making new uh, sound waves and all these things. And digital games, uh, like when it comes to digital games, like most of the things are there, like uh, the games that you experience through a screen, the games that you experience <clears throat> through a VR, or uh, some games are there to experience uh, uh, using the AR, so likewise, and simulation games where you are going to actually interact with the real world uh, kind of objects, right? And uh, feel the uh, the surrounding when it comes to the uh, simulation games, as well as, yeah. So those are the things we talked about last week, right? And we didn't uh, write anything about this. So I want you to have the uh, head in quickly and we'll write down the most important factors regarding this and uh, I'll take you to some videos where you can experience how the 3D cinema are being made as well as uh, what kind of a thing that we can do through a simulator. All right. Okay, so have the head in information and communication technology and society. and have the subheading ICT and entertainment. This lesson have uh, some theories to be written people. So you may uh, face with some writings, right? But when it is done, it is done. Then we can uh, move to the past papers. So let's see to finish this as soon as possible, right? Okay, so if you are done with the uh, subheading, I will highlight the things. You may copy it down, right? Yeah, people, in the uh, heading, it's better you say three-dimensional movies. Right, then you can write down this specific part.
let me know when you are done people All right, anyone who is still writing this? Okay, I'm moving forward. You may write up to this point, people. I will complete the sentence after that, right? Yeah, what you have to write is this, after the highlighted part is done, then write these particular things, right? The attraction of increased, the attraction of carton fills. Yeah, people, it's better we say attraction for carton fills, not attraction of.
Okay, are we done? Anyone who is still writing this? All right, moving forward. The digital games. Yeah, this small part is enough. Okay, are we done? Anyone who is still writing this? All right, moving forward. Yeah, it's better we uh, write it down entirely.
Okay, anyone who is still writing this? All right, so let's move to the videos that we need to see before we move to the problems, right? Right, so I have shared it with the sounds. Let me play it now. Okay, so that is the, uh, what it's going about with this particular things, right? So now I'll show you how the holographic images are processed. There are two videos. So that's the way that the uh, AI, uh, I'm sorry, the 3D uh, holographic uh, images are being created, right? There is some uh, nice video over here. It is a little bit lengthy, but worth watching. People, you can hear the sounds at your side, right? I couldn't get the uh, confirmation. 
can you right great right great okay there you go Help. Okay, not this.
Okay, so as you could see, like uh, almost everything is there regarding a flight control. So the screen is there. So he is uh, like referring or like experiencing into the very real situation, right? But it is not done in the real environment, right? So especially, especially when it comes to the aircraft uh, or like pilot uh, programs, right? Like, like pilot practicing programs. So it should be something like that, right? They're not going to uh, test it on a plane uh, straight away, right? Okay, so I think you have a good idea about how the entertainment uh, type, and this is actually entertainment plus education, right? When it comes to the uh, simulators. Right, so put the next topic. We are going to talk about problems associated with the ICT. All right, so you can see there are like several different uh, issues price around the uh, ICT. So as the categories, <coughs> excuse me, as the categories, you can see there are legal issues, uh, issues related to the values, or we call them ethical issues, right? Physical problems, harmful softwares, environmental issues, health related issues, and social issues. Right. So first we are going to talk about the legal issues. Now, when it comes to the legal issues, first thing comes as the data thefts, right? So theft means like uh, stalling something from someone, right? So when it comes to the data theft, it is specifically comes to the data of someone's. 
right? So that is why it says personally identifiable information stolen from a computer or other device can be considered as data theft, right? So it's a theft which is done regarding the data, right? And uh, unauthorized access into a computer system, that is an ethical problem as well. And again, we can uh, take it as a legal issue as well. Right, so if someone is trying to access your computer without your permission, since it is because since it is belongs to you, you won't be able to, like you can raise the legal charges regarding the unauthorized access, and this particular access can be uh, done in different two different ways. It can be uh, comes as a hacking type of a situation, or it can come as like physically interacting with the computer system. And um, intellectual property rights are there to protect the uh, original works from the creator, right? So when you, are, when you have gathered or like when you have obtained the uh, intellectual property rights, you can raise the legal issues using that right and uh, sue that particular person or the particular institute who has done, who has not taken your permission or like uh, uh, the, the relevant grant to access the computer or the network, right? So if without the intellectual properties, there will be a little hard for someone to go into this particular type of legal issues, right? So like uh, you are acquiring a patent means, again, you are acquiring the legal rights for regarding uh, OEM particular a mechanism right and fraud is again uh, comes and uh, talks about relating the uh, uh, like we call it uh, this is this is the word it says dishonest misinterpretation right that means you are trying to represent someone else else's self and saying that you are that particular person right so we can manage it as a fraud Right, so uh, that is again like uh, by by uh, what you call presenting those kind of data uh, will give you a different type of illegal issues or like different type of uh, disadvantages even in the society. Right, so like uh, when it comes to when when the specific example that I told you interpretation of a different person or like uh, like saying that I am uh, the other person and uh, uh, representing that particular person without the authorization of that is also known as identity theft, right? You have stolen someone's identity, right? So then uh, that can be uh, taken as an illegal issue. Okay, so hold on. Right, people, are we clear about this? Yeah. All right, so let's uh, shortly write down these things, people. Legal issues. Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, you, you are done with the uh, heading, right? Problem associated with the use of ICT. Is everyone uh, right, into the, right into your books? Okay, so under that, they can then you can use number one, same legal issues. So, Andre, put in the Roman numbers, you may write about these things, the one that I am uh, highlighting, right? Data thefts, this particular part only.
I'm slowly moving upwards. You, don't, you, you have nothing to write under unauthorized access into computer systems. Yeah, let me see what to be written uh, under the intellectual property rights. We may have, we may need to go through a different uh, heading to that. Yeah, let's let's say it like this intellectual property rights violation. Right, so have this heading intellectual property rights violation.
people let me know when you are done Anyone who is still completing this? Okay, are we done? Right, moving forward, you may write this identity theft as a different point. So, like it's end up with four no. So, write this as fifth one, right? People, are we done? Anyone who is still writing this? Okay, so the next topic is about the uh, issues related to the values. Now, these are not legal related ones. It's just about the uh, what? 
your policies, your personal policies, right? The ethics, right? The plagiarism. Plagiarism means you are copying from one another, or like you are taking the original uh, content and include it in your particular document or particular report without mentioning who has used this or who has created this initially, right? So it's, it's better you mention that uh, with the plagiarism because like when it comes to the plagiarism, uh, there are some certain systems where it can detect a particular document is plagiarized or not, right? Specifically when it comes to the higher educations with foreign universities, they have uh, specifically asked us to uh, manage or like attach a plagiarism report. There are some certain websites. So we can just spark there, right? And uh, you can uh, upload your own document to that website and uh, you can ask them to check for the plagiarism. So they will go through the entire uh, database that they have and see whether anything has been copied from this particular moment. So that is called plagiarism. To get away the plagiarism, you can use these things. Citing, that means like mentioning the rightful owner and his or her name or his or her information. Quoting, so quoting means like having the uh, double quotes. So that indicates uh, this has been uh, extracted from some particular place. And uh, referencing, yes, this the listing of resources from which of the information was collected. Yeah, so uh, with, with those, we will be able to give some value uh, to the work that we are doing, right? Because we are honest to uh, ourselves first. You are not copying that down or you are not uh, plagiarizing from anywhere. It is just the way that you feel when you are coming to that particular place or like when you're coming to that particular task. Okay, so before we come to the physical and logical issues, let's go through the issues related to the values. Bobby's still thinking about when. Let me know when you are done, people.
பிபார் அவிதான் anyone who is still writing okay moving forward if anyone misses anything just let me know right right now when it comes to the physical and logical issues uh, basically it's talking about the uh, refer you know like using the computer in a secured manner right so physical uh, issues are are the things that we can see and touch and we we can we can really see it as an object or like uh, as a real world thing logical issues that is regarding the applications for the software that we are using inside the computer right so as the uh, this particular paragraph says sudden power failures may lead to de damages of the computer devices right so uh, as well as like when it comes to the uh, like when you when you're using the ups for that particular reason so then we can manage the uh, the harm or the damage which is uh, done by suddenly getting off of the computer system right and uh, yeah so finally they are talking about what are the ssps and how it can be managed right so having the uh, uninter uninterrupted power supplies ups fixed into the computer and uh, if you are checking it regularly uh, in a power failure, you won't be able to lose the electricity uh, sooner the uh, uh, power failure has happened. The UPS will protect or like will give some uh, particular uh, time to save your things and uh, get properly shut down. Right, and uh, hardware firewalls that is using uh, to prevent the unauthorized access to a specific uh, network kind of things, right? So like uh, we are not going to uh, try the, uh, what we call the physical uh, firewalls for a standalone or like the personal usage is, is a very high cost component. So we can use those things to protect a particular network, right? So when the people or, or any particular uh, software is trying to uh, get into the into your system firewall will not allow them if they are not if the firewall is not said that these things are uh, eligible or uh, this particular accessing uh, methods are eligible or not right yeah and and these are some basic things control access through the locked doors right yes so you keep it manually closed and locked. And CCTV uh, operations, closed circuits, televisions. So then again, uh, people who are like uh, trying to do some uh, unwanted things, they may, they may pause or they may uh, get away when they uh, recognize the CCTVs on the operation. Right, search protector, it is uh, for the... Uh, uh, to protect your computer using the lighting kind of uh, situations, right? So, uh, uh, search for protector will absorb all the power or like the high voltages and burn itself without burning the computer system, right? And environmental factors, that's of course, like if we are not keeping our environment clean, then eventually our computers are also going to get dirty or like uh, full of dust dust is something which is which will which can give a very big headache to the users right so it's better you uh, keep it uh, how the clean and the uh, very 
but undust full manner, right? Like covering it from a particular uh, blanket or any particular uh, covering regarding, right? So uh, yeah, as well as tidy people because like tightness will uh, give you the chance to access the uh, access anything in a very quicker manner, right? So what you can see in the picture is not a very tidy place. It, it's, a, it's kind of a mess, right? Things which are here and there. So before the logical uh, issues or the, uh, the way that we are going to give the logical securities, let's uh, write down these things, right? So... It is our summit. Yeah, hold on. So, so. Daddy, let me see this. That's Wait, that thing. needs to give the note with my students, right? Which note? The one that I'm going to highlight from here. So will you please give me uh, 10 to 15 minutes? Yeah, once you have written this uh, sentence, we'll go for the, uh, the the explanations, right? Not anything from here. Right, so moving forward. Hold on a minute. Yeah, it's better you say this uh, sentence. Computers can be made secure. Computers can be made secure from physical and logical issues. as follows after these uh, highlighted parts you can end the uh, sentence as follows so computer be made secure from physical and logical issues as follows Right, so here we go. 
you can have this hub head in physical security and you can use the uninterrupted power supply Yeah, this is enough. This prevents interruption to the supply of the power to the computer. Right, and this diagram shows how the UPS being connected because the, the power main supply connects with the UPS and at the back of the UPS, there will be like two of one uh, particular power socket from that it will help the uh, computer to have power through that right so you power into the ups from the wall socket and the ups input the power to the computer right meanwhile the battery is being charged So after this sentence, you better uh, write this is regarding the battery power. So after this, you better write this sentence. Right, so you have to write the uh, brown color first, then go to the blue color. Right, so the next one is hardware firewalls.
Right. Are we done? Anyone who is still writing this? Okay, moving forward. Yeah, you don't need to like uh, go with the control act like the, the explanation which is given here, something very general, and go for the CCTV. Yeah, regarding the CCTV, it's better you uh, write it down. Yes, if you are done with the CCTV, go with the search protector one.
Okay, so after the search protectors, it's the environmental factor that you need to go. Right, if you are done with this, so we can end the session for today, right? Since we have done a lot of uh, writing. So um, let's try our best to uh, finish the things out by next week, but still there are little more to go, but we'll see what we can do, right? So by this point, I'm going to end the session for today. Right by next week. So we are going to talk about the logical securities. Right. So thank you very much, everyone. I'll see you on next week for the very same time. All right. Until then, have a nice weekend, people. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Right. Okay, people. Thank you very much. Thank you.